Well, deer season has begun in North Carolina, that is. I am in Virginia today. I skipped opening day yesterday because it was 90 degrees. It's going to be that hot the rest of the week, so I thought if I'm going to be hot and miserable, I'm going to go do some scouting instead because I don't like sitting in a tree stand when it's above 80 degrees. It's usually unproductive. I'm accessing a section of the National Forest off of an Appalachian Trail uh, trailhead parking and there's not many places that I've been able to do that there's usually a good trail in the deer don't pay attention to your scent that much there's usually not a ton of deer right along the trail but uh, I'm using that access to go around and try to get behind some farms in uh, these bottom lands down in here I'm not gonna go way up on top of the mountain I'm looking for an early season bow spot for early October so I'm gonna spend the next three or four days bouncing around to different places that I've mapped over the past year on the Virginia National Forest and then I'm gonna go home and hopefully it will have the heat will have calmed down by then and I'll be able to go bow hunting next week in the North Carolina mountains I've gone about a hundred yards and I just jumped my first deer it was a lone deer 60 yards away through the brush couldn't really see what it was but I saw where it was bedded well I no longer think that deer was bedded I think it was on this trail right here in front of me there is a heavy trail right here parallel on the road by like two or three hundred yards at the start of where the finger ridges go up to the main ridge it was walking right through here probably going to one of these fields I'm trying to get to it probably just couldn't stand laying there any longer as high as it is <laughs> I don't think it was better right here but look at this trail hard to be quiet in these dry leaves. The deer can hear me coming from a long way. These bottoms where these ridges meet and come down like this behind me. These areas typically contain a lot of sign that the deer are down in here making at night. And there is no sign in here where I'm at. So I'm going to keep moving. And everywhere where one of these finger ridges comes down I'm gonna check it out stop look for sign until I get where I'm wanting to go and if there's a bunch of deer coming off one of these ridges I should be able to tell hopefully that's the first deer scat I've found in this whole place now I'm starting to find something that I'm interested in I got acorns right here I don't think I mentioned this, but I think most of the bedding is going to be up on these ridges right here on these points above me. Because the wind's perfect for that right here. But the same wind is really good for me parking my truck at this road and slipping in here. And being basically undetected, I don't think they could ever smell me on a normal wind. There's three ridges coming down right here. And there's fields back here behind them. I'm probably three or four hundred yards from them. But during the rut, you could probably catch a deer right here. Starting to really see some sign in here. in it but there's good grasses for them to eat that was a doe it looked like I either jumped her or ran into her right over here she was on the public here's another deer
pretty sure that's where they crossed. I'm probably going to be forced to use this small pine tree behind me, even though I don't like pine. I think that's what I'm going to have to use. So I'm going to mark it and get out of here. I just hate pines. They're so loud, so hard to get into quietly. I think I'm far enough from the bedding that I don't think they'll hear me come in, especially if I got a little wind. Just walked up on a full doe, it looks like. Anyways, there's a trail right there. Looks like maybe last gun season she was shot, ran down it, and they didn't find her. Looks like she just piled up after running off the side of that cliff. It's about 7.30. I'm going to go ride down the road a little bit, past all these private areas down here, and see how many deer I see standing out. Day two of my scouting trip. I came in this area and went to the right yesterday. I'm coming and going to the left today. I like these national forest accesses that have the Appalachian Trail on them. They got bridges going in. Here I got a little bow funnel. We got thicket right here going right around this tree that's falling at the base of this finger ridge coming down. They'll funnel right around in front of this thing. It's thick. They got plenty of cover. And I'm finding my first droppings right here. Some old, some newer. Oh, I just found a monster rub. It's a big one. Now I know there's good buck in here. I know I'm coming back in here and hunting this deer. This is easy to get to. Just walked up on my first bed. Right here. Got a little bit of hair in. We're above, above the fields up here. And uh, on one of these finger ridges leading back up to the top of the mountain. And I'm starting to find beds. So I'm kind of seeing a lot of scat now. I'm probably going to find some beds right up here. There's a trail coming straight down right here. Like I thought, bedding. I'm getting into some big roads. Some oak paradise in here. Should be able to find some acorns.
guess I found what they were eating. She has no idea what I am. And look at here, an old tree stand. There's the tree stand. There's the deer. That's how you know it's a good spot. I think I'll just go ahead and mark this one down in my GPS. Massive old oaks. Acorns in here everywhere. See down below him. Some of these old tree stands these fellas put in here. They look unsafe. Found another nice looking stand. Bear toward all the pieces. So what I've learned over the years is that bears really do not like you to leave tree stands in the woods. They will get your backpack and they will get your tree stands. This is a perfect example of a thing I've seen many times on the National Forest. Somebody leaves a stand in and then it's tore all two pieces and then they just leave it in here because it's junk after a bear tears it up. Found a bed. It's got fresh air in it. But some new sticks that haven't been broken so he hadn't been using it lately. I just ran off a nice shooter buck. Look at a really nice eight or ten pointer. He stood up 20 yards down the hill from me and took off. He didn't blow. But his bed should be right down here on this logging road. That's a nice buck. That's what I'm looking for right there. He was a shooter. I've been walking for two days and hadn't jumped a nice buck yet. That's the first one. Too bad I couldn't get it on film. It just happened too fast. He didn't know what I was though. He just saw movement. Stood up and took off. He didn't blow. I bet you he's already stopped down there. He stood up right here in front of me. Look at here where he's getting up and down the bank. There's his bed. Nice book bed. Downwind side of this point. There's the top of the main ridge I come up on. The acorns. Those acorns were up there. So that buck was laid up right here on this logging road on the downwind side of the point of the ridge right here where it drops off and it's public right here but the line is right here um he's on public but 20 yards away is private i'm gonna try to come back and kill him that was, that was a nice buck hopefully he'll be laying right here when i come back in november this is hands down the best trail i have seen on public land in Virginia ever you got two main trails coming together right here you got one coming around the thicket up here coming straight down the hill and that's the one I was on a second ago now I got one crisscrossing from this way and going into the thicket over there right there Sort of a little crossroads here of traffic going in different directions. 
got some old rubs on some of these trees. It's tore up. I've never seen so many deer tracks in my life. I don't see any old stands. Usually you don't find a spot like this on public land and there not be some kind of permanent stand set up over it. Three miles to the back of this area and I didn't find this good a sign. I mean, I did jump a buck and find some other good stands. But this looks way cooler and it's close to the road. I almost missed it walking out. But two cut overs come together at the back end of this little strip of hardwoods right here. And it's straight up. I don't think anybody's climbing this. Well, if there were, there'd be a tree stand here. So there's where the trail goes into the bay. I just found a whole load of beds. Those, I guess. Bunch of them, huh? Oh, that's cut over. That doe is bedded right up here above the top of the cut over here. In this thick stuff. I'm just walking the edge. Oh, it's hot. Grizzly, Mountain Dew, Tanks. I looked up the hill. I could see where all this stuff had been piled up. I think it's been years since anybody's hunted it. It's in a good spot, but he's on the ground. I don't like being on the ground. I'm going to get up in a tree right here. See what I can do for a tree stand right here in the middle of these oaks. Not far from that, because that, that's situated pretty good. Just need to be a tree. Found some more bedding here. Right, right on the point right here. This is the bed of that deer, that doe I jumped on the way in. I walked back out here to see if I could find where she was bedding. And here it is. Look, she's Laying at the base of this tree. She's watching the trail. That's the parking area down that trail about a hundred yards. I just jumped another buck right here. I'm gonna try to figure out where he's bedded. Looks like he was bedded right here. With this rock creating a flat spot. He ran that way. Well, I think this is about the end of my scouting trip. It is Tuesday evening. I just feel like getting home. It's about 5.30. Covered in spider webs. It's been 90 degrees. I jumped a buck, ran him up the mountain. Okay, I was walking out in one last example of a mountain deer bed. Right here. Right above this rock, which levels it off. Overlooking the road down there. And he can hear the cars and see the hunters with their flashlights coming in. He had not bedded in it, you know, in a few days, but there's a lot of hair in it. And I just jumped a buck up there, so it could be the same deer. Just bedded down here on a different wind, I guess. I think that wraps it up. I can't get out of the woods without walking right into a, a deer bed. I guess that's a good thing.